Hello everyone! Today I'll be sewing the lining for this crochet bra. But before that, I will make a pattern for the lining first. So I will just fold the cup and I have to make sure that the ninth row of both sides are aligned on top of each other. Because the inner side of the cup is wider than the outer side of the cup. I'll be putting a link on how to make this crochet bra on the description below. So I will just use an ordinary band paper to make a pattern for the lining. These two folded sides should be aligned on top of each other. Okay, so I will just make an outline first just around the cup. This won't be the final size of the pattern. It's just an outline and I will just use it as a guide for cutting. So I will just trace them. I think I should use this. Okay, that's better. And then I will cut it. okay so like i said this is not the final pattern yet i will make some adjustment for it so i will put it back here and i will mark the corner of the outer side first and then cut So this will be the final shape of this side and then I will mark the corner of the inner side of the cup. And then cut and this will be the final shape of the pattern it will look like this so this pattern is for the right cup so I will label it
then I will make another one of this for the left cup so basically I will just cut out the same exact shape of this pattern into another band paper okay so I will label it L for the left and so now we are ready to make our lining so I will use a nylon spandex fabric you can use any spandex fabric that you like however if you are going to make a lining for your swimwear or bikini top I recommend to use the nylon spandex because it's not very absorbent so it won't sag now we should always follow the fabric line or the direction of the fabric so I'll put the pattern lengthwise here. Also, you should always work on the wrong, wrong side of the fabric or the back side. So I'll just fold the fabric because I am going to make a double lining for each cup. Okay, so leave allowance all around the pattern. I will leave one fourth inch or one half centimeter. Use pins to secure the pattern on the fabric. However, do not use too many pins to avoid ruining the shape. Okay, now I remove my tablecloth because I'll be cutting the fabric but I'm going to mark this corner first and this side and this side Okay, I'll be using those later for sewing. Okay, now I'm going to cut it. And in cutting the fabric, you should always cut on the right side. And there should be nothing between the fabric and the table. And it should be laid flat on the table. Now I have to leave one for it inch allowance okay so I'm done with both the lining So I'm going to invert the, the lining so that the front side would be on the outer side. So what's inside here is the wrong side of the fabric.
So I'll just <coughs> make sure it's aligned and I will fold it. So I will saw it in here and follow the mark that I <coughs> put earlier. So I am just using an ordinary sewing needle and white thread. So I will sew until here. Okay. okay, I've done both of the lining. Now I'm going to make clips for the ends. Just a little bit. Now I will be sewing these linings on the both of the cups. So I have to crease open the seam and then crease them. So they would remain flat. Okay, and then <coughs> this point here should be here in this position.
Okay, so now before I start the sewing, I will cut the corner first. This is the corner. Okay, like this. And I will do the same here on the other corner. <coughs> Okay. And then I will fold. You can start anywhere that you like, but I would prefer to start here in the corner. I will fold the lining just below the edging Okay, I will use ordinary sewing needle and white thread.
also make sure that we grab the two loops there and make sure we grab the two lightning Okay, <clears throat> so now continue this until you arrive to the first corner. <clears throat> so here on the corner, it's easier to fold <clears throat> the allowance inside because we made the trim earlier. Okay, I will just continue.
and now I will do the same to the other cup and now we're done